off against rivals West Michigan. Now, your accurate first alert weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Matt Rudkin. Well, 1970, the, first off, it's hard to believe that was almost 50 years ago. But if you lived here then, uh, you will likely remember March 25th. Locally, we saw some snow, about uh, 4.8 inches officially in South Bend. It will go down as this date's most uh, significant snowfall. But our neighbors to the west in Chicago, O'Hare received over a foot of snow, making it the city's 10th largest ever. March around here can be two different kinds of weather. Well, actually, it can be a bunch, right? But two extremes. You can get some major snows in late March. You can also get serious, severe weather. Uh, luckily, this year, all was quiet. This is just ground clutter uh, on storm tracker radar. It's not actually precipitation out west. The closest clouds are the Mississippi River. So clear skies tonight will lead to mostly sunny, if not completely sunny skies tomorrow. Already dipping into the 20s in some locations. will uh, eventually fall to around 22, 25 degrees, somewhere around there. North wind, still breezy, but it will die down tonight. That's what will help temperatures fall even farther. A wider view of temperatures. Overall, these are pretty consistent. Remember, you know, we're talking several hundred miles here. It's 35 in Green Bay and 45 in Evansville. So when you don't have a huge spread in temperatures, it means there's not a lot going on. The one weather system we dealt with yesterday is gone. High pressure is sinking air. That gets rid of clouds, gets rid of rain. It usually gives you the crystal clear blue skies. And when it's smack dab overhead, it will get rid of wind as well. So temperatures mid 40s tomorrow should get to the mid 50s, maybe near 60 for your day on Wednesday. So here's hour by hour for our Tuesday temperatures in the mid 40s. Now, if you live right along Lake Michigan, you're going to be stuck in the 30s as you would expect, but mostly sunny skies for everybody in Michigan. So here's future temperatures as we head towards tonight. A couple things I want to note. Number one, watch what it does by tomorrow morning. 30, 29, yeah, that's not cold enough. The model is underestimating the dry air. So we're going to be a bit chillier than that. Again, lower to mid-20s. But by tomorrow, I love what it does. It shows that lake breeze, 30s and 40s for about 10 miles or so. And then you get inland, middle 40s. Here's your forecast for tonight. Temperatures, we're going to go with about 22. Clear skies and certainly colder for your day tomorrow, 45. Mostly sunny, hour by hour. We'll start chilly. We'll end it uh, in the mid-40s, but a whole lot of sunshine is the theme. Even warmer by about 10 degrees on Wednesday. Next weather maker comes in on Thursday, warms us up. And then behind that weather system, we're cooler. Temperatures 40s and eventually 30s. All right, Matt, Notre Dame's bid for another national championship is still live. Pete Byrne will have highlights and reaction as the Fighting Irish punch their ticket to the Sweet 16 next in sports.